Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont, author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be showing you four ways to create a link to a Dropbox file that you can share with other people. Uh, this approach works whether you're using a Windows or a Mac, although there are some slight variations on how you get the link depending on which operating system you're, you're using, but I'll try to explain that too. So let's get started here. Uh, I have, this is a Mac, uh, this is looking at Mac Finder. If you have a Windows machine, you'll be using File Explorer, and basically it just shows you the files you have. So these are files that are within a subfolder in my Dropbox folder on my computer. What you're going to do is find the file that you want to share the link to, right-click on it, and you should see some actions down here that correspond to stuff you can do in Dropbox. So one of them is Copy Dropbox Link. So if you select that, It'll copy a link to the Dropbox file. It'll, the link will look something like uh, www.dropbox.whatever.com, and then you can share that with people. You can uh, you can paste it into a uh, an email. You can put it in in social media, whatever. So actually, let's try it right now. So there should be a message that I'm going to. It's going to copy the link, and actually, let's see what it looks like too. Yeah. So there's the link. It just copied it. So if I copied this link and I pasted it into an email, uh, people would be able to download that particular file. There's three other ways to do it too. And let's see what they are. So one thing you can do, uh, if you have a Mac, you would go to the Dropbox icon in your taskbar. If you have a Windows machine, the Dropbox icon will be down here in the system tray. Just click on that Dropbox icon and you will see some of the uh, files that you've recently used. And if you hover over each one, you'll see a link to it. So here, here I'm hovering over uh, this one that says uh, shippinglabel.pdf and there's some letters there. I'm going to click on that uh, that chain link. It says copying link, link copied, and then let's go back to the text file and paste it in. There it is. That's a link that I can use. There's still two more ways to do it. Uh, one way to do it is to click on the Dropbox icon again. Mac would be up here in your taskbar, Windows down here in the system tray. Just click on that and then you can search for it. So I'm going to search for shipping label. Um, actually, let's just see what, let's just see shipping label uh, Shopify. All right, here's, here's one of them. Okay, here's another one. Let's just copy this link. Hover over it because it found it. Copy link and then let's get rid of this one and here's the new one. So you can see I can keep on copying links that way. Now, one other way you can do things is you can actually go to the Dropbox website. So click on the Dropbox icon in your system tray or taskbar and look, click on the link that looks like a globe. That will open up the, the, the uh, Dropbox, either the web app or the Dropbox application that you've installed on your computer. Either one will work. And then find the particular uh, file. You can search for it within Dropbox. Let's get rid of this. You can search for it. Okay, uh, let's say shipping label. Amazon. Okay, here it is. So all you need to do is click the share icon and you can email them or you can find a collaborator or you can create then copy the link. So I'm going to do that. Creating link gives me a message about that and then I'm going to click it again to copy the link. Link copied allows viewing and I'm going to test it out again. So here it is. So I could take this link, I could put it in an email, I could put it in a text message, I could do all kinds of things with it. So it's a very useful feature. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of Dropbox, go to in30minutes.com. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube. And you can see more uh, videos and blog posts by going to in30minutes.com and clicking on, Bob, uh, clicking on blog. This is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.